a very famous beast. It's the haggis. It has all sorts of stories talked about. It struck me on the drive into Vilnius this evening. One of life's mysteries. I don't know whether you've ever thought about this, but I certainly did. And this mystery is, what sort of party must it have been many years ago when one drunken Scotsman said to another, now we have eaten this sheep, and now you have emptied its stomach. If I blow air into it, can I make a tune? And that's where bagpipes have come from. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise to welcome the haggis. Stop a sewer fricassee 
but ye spew with perfect manner, looks doon with sneering, scornful view on seek a dinner. Poor devil, see him out of his trash, as feckless as a withered rash, his spindle shanks, a git whiplash, his knee a knit, through bloody flood a field to dash. Oh, how unfit! But mark the rustic haggis fed, the trembling earth resumes his tread, clap in his wally knee a blade, he'll whack it whistle, and legs and arms and heats will stead, like taps with thistle. Ye powers, for oh, mark mankind their care, and dish them out the bill of fare. All Scotland wants nae skinkin' wear, like jobs and luggies. But if you wish her grateful prayer, give her a haggis. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a small sensation near you, and this is a small sensation, you may like to toast the haggis. The haggis!